Hey guys, Hammer here, and today I'm presenting to you War Thunder Skin Competition of the Month of July in Week 4. In this competition, five winners will be chosen at each week by a panel of judges, each receiving 1,500 Golden Eagles. Out of these winners, at the end of the month, three will be chosen based on specific categories that will receive an additional 1,500 Golden Eagles, and those specific categories are Historical, Non-Historical, and Historical Ace. Submission information for the contest will be presented at the end of the video. Now for the first winner of this week, it's going to be a Fockworth 190A5 of Walter Notani by Jerg Tanningberg. Alright, right off the bat, whenever I first saw this, I loved the color pattern of this aircraft because you don't normally see it in game on this variant. And it just, it's very eye catching. The quality and the paints make it look like it's a fresh coat. Except for there's just enough wear there to make you s realize that it's actually been in the field. And the wear is, is very detailed. Um, the nose cone right here is one of my favorite parts of the whole scheme because, you know, the spiral pattern just looks awesome with the nose while it's spinning and at different throttle variations, as you can see, it has different effects. The leading edges of the wings are lighter and then it goes into this darker shade and it transitions very well. It's just really awesome. You can see the paneling there on the wings pretty good. And, um, you know, for that kind of coat quality, for the outer coat, and then for you to be able to see the paneling is a very, um, very good showmanship of the artist's skill. Because normally with that kind of coloring right there, it would cover over the panels and hide them. You can also see the paneling on the belly, but, you know, it's a lighter shade of um, coating there, so it's not as drastic. It's not enough to make it lost. Alright, now we're going to move on to the Gladiator Mark II of Peter Wycombe Barnes. Now, I really like the skin because of the color pattern as well, and also the detail. I mean, you see all the ribs there? I mean, this, this thing almost looks like it's a canvas-wrapped wooden airplane, <laughs> you know, like it should be. Also, and I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, the engine there is just very nice. You can even see through it in certain aspects, and it, it looks clean. You can see all the little ridges in there and the, the details of the engine. And from this angle you can see on the elevator back there, this uh, wear and tear on the elevator, which is pretty nice, and the ailerons. If you look closely at those two, you can see it. There's also wear marks underneath where the wings meet the body, probably from the flexing of the wings. And that's another eye-catching feature that just really, you know, just makes it feel like a real aircraft. Now, next up is an LA-7 of Sergei Dolgashin. Now, this aircraft is very nice. It makes me think of a restored plane because you still have some effects going on from the exhaust and from where the gun markers are, but everything else feels very clean, very brand new. Um, but it's a very nice paint coating. Um, still, once again, nice enough to where you can see the actual, you know, rivet lines and, um, you know, parts of the actual plane. And the reason this is important is because it doesn't look plastered with paint. It doesn't look like anything's being, you know, totally covered over, you know. Um, and it looks, makes it look re realistic. Which is an important quality in all these amazing skins. Alright, now we are going to move on to a VF-109 F4 in Italian camo. This, this paint scheme is actually very interesting because you can see that if you look close near the engine cowling and under the cockpit toward the tail that this maintains the original German color scheme right there. However, all the Balkan cruises are painted over with a dark gray. Now they did throw over their Italian brown color on the wings and on the upper surfaces. 
But yeah, right here on the bottom side, you can definitely see that. Where original German colors, um, all the all the clear German markings were grayed out, the Balkan cruises and such. And then on the top layers of the skin, that you got the Italian tan painting. And I'll zoom in for you up here. On the nose, though, to me, they kind of kept the original 109's pattern as well as mixed in their Italian pattern there with the gray and the and the browns. It makes it very interesting looking, very unique. All right, next up is a non-historical tiger skin called Tiger Lily by Joker BBB09. Now on the back side of the turret, always in the player's view, is this nice pinup that's in the back here. It's kind of long allied style, except for with a German uniform, and is obviously the showcase's name. Not only does Tiger Lily have that particular piece of eye candy, but it also has a very nice pattern to it. That goes all the way along the side, wraps around, it's a, it's a very nice pattern. And the placement of the numbering and the name is actually very nice as well. I even somehow snagged a picture of the top of the turret. And as you can see the pattern, it's very continuous on, up there as well. Uh, which is something that you might not typically see on a tank, but it looks really good. And as you can see with the road wheels in the center of a lot of the other, of the actual camo pattern is the default factory color scheme that is hand painted over by the crew. It looks, looks very nice because it's a little bit more realism feel to it. Alright guys, all skins that were showcased in this episode will be in the description link below. If you would like to participate in future compositions, there will be a link for this as well. On the contest forum, you'll be able to post one image for your submission, as well as the live.warthunder.com address to your submission, and you must include the category that it falls under, whether it's historical, non-historical, or historical A skin the title of your scan and if desired a description as well thanks for watching guys this month's contest three winners will be posted up this thursday and next month's competition will be starting soon